everyone here on Stained Glass Cuts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a design I call the Fish Mobile. This solid brass design is ideal for hanging outdoors and loves kinetic energy. It's all about balance. How long you make it and what you choose to hang on is up to you. Here are some variations on the design. I use the following skills when making this mobile. Cutting a straight line in glass, cutting a circle in glass, slumping a shape into glass, using a glass circle, drilling a hole in glass, making a glass hanger, and bending loops and metal rods for the mobile arms. If you need details on how to do any of these things, check out my videos in the playlist, The Fish Mobile. Links to all the materials and tools I use are listed in the description of this video. I'll start by building the solid brass hanging frame. The materials I'll be using are a brass o-ring, number 12 single jack brass chain, three 30 second brass rod, and eight heavy duty fishing swivels. I started by cutting seven lengths of rod, one 12 inches long, I've already put a double loop in it, two 11 and a half inches long, two 11 inches long, and two 10 and a half inches long. I filed the ends flat and marked the middle of each. Now taking my bail making pliers, I'll put a nine millimeter double loop in the middle of each of the brass rods. Okay, time for a disclaimer here. In some of my previous videos, I referred to these as 10 millimeters loop, 10 millimeter loops, when actually my bail making pliers are seven millimeters and nine millimeters. Oops. Okay, enough with the disclaimer. So I'll be taking each one of these brass rods and I'll be creating my double loop. If you want to see more detail on how I make loops, I have a video on that. I think it's called something like how to make mobile arms or loops in mobile arms. Okay, so as you can see, I've created a double loop here and I'll go on and complete doing that to the rest of the rods. Okay, I've got all my double loops made. Next, I'll take my jeweler's pliers and firmly grasp the double loop in the middle. I'll then bend the arms down trying to keep the bending equal on both sides until we've achieved a 90 degree angle. Now you can use any kind of a 90 degree angle. I'm using this wood block to get to that angle. And I'll then take that and move on down and put 90 degree angles in all of my other arms. As you can see, I've been careful to maintain the double loop in the middle so that when it goes to hang it will hang with the double loop straight up and down and the arms to the side. I've got all the right angles in each of the arms. Now what I'll be doing is taking each one of them and putting a seven millimeter loop on the end of each arm. As you can see, I'm bending these towards the middle. I'll bend them until they just touch. And then just go back slightly. And repeat on the other side.
At this point, I'll take my flat pliers and adjust as necessary to get everything lined up. Once I've got that, I'll go on to the other arms and then we'll start seeing how things go together. I've got all the arms ready and I've taken my chain and created eight pieces. One that's eight links long, two that are five links long, two that are four links long, and three that are three links long. On the longest chain, I've attached my O-ring. I've also taken swivels and apply them, attach them, if you will, to the top loop of each of the mobile arms. I've also taken the remaining swivel and attached it to the bottom loop of one of the smallest arms. For the glass, you can use anything you want as long as you make sure the pieces that hang on the same arm are very close to the same weight. I've cut 14 circles and slumped a simple circle into the middle of each and I've used a single layer of glass. I've done the slumping to try and facilitate movement in the wind. The diameter of the circles I've made are as follows. Four of them are two inches wide, four of them are two and a half inches wide, four of them are three inches wide, and two of them are three and a half inches wide. For the tail, I've used a triangle whose sides are three and three quarter inches each. In each piece of glass, I've drilled a hole and installed a hanger. Now we have everything we need. I've laid out how it all goes together. Starting at the top, the arms begin with the shortest, increasing in size until we get to the longest arm, and then decreasing as we head towards the tail. The chain lengths are in the following order. Eight lengths, three lengths, three lengths, four lengths, five lengths, four lengths, three lengths, and five lengths. You'll note that the glass, I've got one indent facing up and the other facing down. This is so that it will help in catching the wind. It's time to put it together. For assembly, I started at the top and worked my way down, connecting the respective links of chain in the order I laid out in the prior segment. I then hung the glass on the mobile arms. After everything was hanging, I closed all the chain links and loops with my grousing pliers. And there you have it, the fish mobile swimming in the wind. Thanks for watching. Cheers!